Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to be making Kitty Mochi. I think that's how it's pronounced anyways. So yeah, this is super stretchy Japanese like mochi, but also kind of like rice cake. So, wow. yeah. Mochi and rice cake are basically made out of the same thing. There's just a little, um, there's just a little difference in the process that makes it There's just a little difference in the process that makes it um, either super stretchy or super firm. So this is what we're going to be making today. So let's just get right into it. But actually, before we get right back into it, um, I would like to congratulate these two winners on winning doo -doo -doo -doo, uno, dos <laughs> ramen prizes. Congratulations to Christopher and Rotten Doll Faces. You guys are the winners of these giveaway. Make sure to message me on Instagram to claim your prize. If you'd like to participate in any future giveaways, make sure to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and share this video. But yeah, let's actually get into the mochi now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just put our pan on, and we're gonna add some water. Once we have the water going, we're going to add in some kelp. In today's dish, we're going to be using some fish cake style hot dog, cheesy rice cake, so they're cheese filled rice cakes. These are pretty big. And of course, you're going to need some gochujang and some red pepper flake. Yay! And I'm also going to include some pan fried uh, flatfish cake in it as well. <laughs> and we can't forget cheese. Okay, now that this has simmered, we have a nice sea flavor. You can smell it. We're just gonna take these out. Some good about about a spoonful in there. Gonna add some sugar, add some red pepper flake. just added the rice cake into it, the cheesy rice cake, after making the base. Now we're gonna add in some kitty mochi. This mochi is really cool, the way it's packaged. Oh, let me get the scissors. <laughs> so they come in these little blocks. And cut it. Let's take it out like that. That's what it looks like, just a little block. I'm gonna add some fish cake into it. Okay guys, while the topoki, topoki, repoki, repoki. One or the other, I have to make sure before I post this video which one exactly is because depending if there's ramen in it, depending what type of ingredient it is, the name changes obviously, just like, you wouldn't call it spaghetti and meatballs, just spaghetti, you would call it spaghetti and meatballs. We're gonna head out behind us to the other stove and we're gonna fry up some seaweed rolls because I just feel like this absolutely needs some sea deep fried seaweed rolls, so let's get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished adding the whole bag of cheese into here. <laughs> Nothing left. Big bag too. And this is basically done. We're gonna let this finish um, just melting and then we're gonna eat it. Yay! Okay. Mm, it smells so delicious. Okay, to drink, we are going to have, we're gonna try this guy this guy and this little guy okay oh my god okay first let's check out this mochi so this is the kitty i don't know how to pronounce it properly guys Ooh, that's a rice cake i mean a fish cake but that's the mochi so stretchy okay let's give this a go mmm 
Mhm. Oh. Oh. That's intense, guys. The stretch on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's a cheese rice cake. Hi. Seaweed roll. Okay. I have some green onion here. I just want to chop it up. Oh, whoops. I just want to put some in here. I feel like I have everything all over my face. <laughs> Give us a mix. Ooh. Mochi. Mmm. That's what it looks like. This is so good. Mm. Um, I also have kimchi here. My favorite kind of kimchi, the radish one. But yeah, I've, this is just like super spicy. It has a little bit of a fish flavor, but a fried fish flavor. It tastes really good. Like a fish and chip type of flavor, if that makes sense. And then um, the rice cake, the mochi is just so stretchy. And because it doesn't have a flavor, it takes on whatever flavor you add to it. The, when the cheese gets attached to the mochi, it just tastes like one huge piece of cheese that you're eating. So it's pretty sick. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Rice cake, it's covered in cheese. Mm. Mm. I actually want some coffee. I think I have a coffee here. 
this one coffee with milk that comes with like a little straw there we go just like that it has instructions in it actually it's kind of funny oh this is from japan too that's cute. We have like a little Japanese kind of Korean flow happening right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I get like on and off addicted to coffee. All right, now I'm addicted to coffee again. <laughs> I think until my sleep starts to suffer, I'll probably continue eating it. But once my sleep starts to suffer again, then I'll probably take a break from coffee. Mm. <laughs> This mochi is starting to get hard. You see it? Because it hasn't been moved around. It's starting to get hard. With something like this, you really need something deep fried with it. I don't know why, you just do. <laughs> and you need kimchi. Sorry guys, my camera actually just died. I had to quickly, um, or sorry, not my camera died. My mic turned off, so I had to quickly rearrange everything, but we're good now. Back to the food. You know how it is.
Well done. Okay, let's go for the black tea. So black tea is my favorite to get when I get bubble tea. I always get black tea. I should have a bubble tea in a while. Maybe that's what I'll go get one of these days. Ooh, also guys, update. We'll give you a little life update. I start well, I kind of already let you guys know this, but I start school September 15th for culinary. Yay. you know sometimes you have setbacks in life but i'll put a picture on the screen actually it's getting in the habit of just having a positive mind state it really helps <laughs> so even though i'm a year late in getting to culinary a lot of stuff happened last year that was totally out of my control i mean some of it was my control because i made decisions but at the end of the day you never know what's going to happen and things just got out of my control and you know, it's sometimes not going to be able to do everything on time, but as long as you do it right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, not bad. Looks like a little marijuana leaf at first. <laughs> Funny. But yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Would you want to see more fancier meals from me? I feel like when it comes to cooking, I'm more of like a traditional type of person like cook i guess you could say i prefer traditional foods over like mainstream or not even mainstream but just like so this could kind of be mainstream i guess right quick but not even mainstream just like you know those like weird plates with like the foam on it and stuff like that i mean those are very like popular and it's good to be like it shows a lot of artistic artistic creative side in this food but i just i prefer more of a traditional meal you know so mm. yeah. Time for matcha. Coffee's my first favorite. Black tea's my second favorite. 
green tea matcha is definitely my third. Although, I should drink more green tea more often because it's healthy for you. It's better than just a caffe caffeinated drink. I've been having Viet coffee lately, and Viet coffee is like crack cocaine. I had one coffee in the morning time, and I still couldn't sleep till like 5 a.m. in the morning. I was wired, to say the least. Mm. Ugh. No, I don't like this one. No, not for me. Mm. No, 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 no. Not for me. It doesn't go well with the, the fishy taste. Oh, God, no, no. It like, with the fish taste flavor, it almost tastes like fungus. Gross, I know. Anyways, guys, I'm pretty full. I'm gonna save this the rest for later. Um, I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Let me know in the comment section whether or not, not you like this new style of editing. Um, it's something that I'm trying out. You guys know me, I'm always experimenting. I don't have one way of editing. I kind of just go off on whatever. I'm not like a professional at all. <laughs> I'm just doing what I think is right or what I like and hoping for the best for things. So let me know in the comments if you like this editing in the video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry for taking so long for, for uploading the past couple weeks, but I've been going through them, some, some things as you guys know. And so my uploads have been kind of like only once a week. Usually when I'm going through something, I'll upload only once a week. Um, but when everything's like good and cool, you'll see how my uploads are obviously more consistent. But um, yeah, I'm going through something right now, so I'm going to try to be more consistent starting the end of this week, next week. Um, but fingers crossed because you never know with life, right? But as long as I'm getting one, at least one video out to you guys a week, right? That's what really matters. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time.